welcome to On1300. I'm Sochil Mora, Director of Communications for the City of McAllen, and today we are once again joined by our McAllen City Manager, Mr. Roy Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, for being here. Thank you for having me. So uh, thank you so much for all of the information you've been providing to our viewers and, of course, to the entire community for the City of McAllen regarding our response to the, uh, the City of McAllen's response to the pandemic of the COVID-19. But we are also citizens and residents of this great community. And what can we do to help our fellow citizens to get through this crisis? Well, one of the things that comes to my mind very quickly is, you know, we've been talking about helping each other, being a good neighbor and so on. And part of being a good neighbor is to ensure that your neighbor has what they need. And what I mean is that uh, the panic uh, continues a little bit in our community and, and through the region. And so every morning, if you go by any grocery store or, or large department store, there's a line waiting. And we realize that, that people are a little nervous and that there is a real need. But uh, hoarding, which is what's going on in, in the community, is totally unnecessary. Um, there will not be a shortage of that supply. We have confirmed that with the retailers, uh, national retailers. It's just not going to happen. And again, water is plentiful. And so uh, we ask that they really think about their neighbors and allow them to go in there and get the necessities that they need. That's really so important because aside from uh, perhaps we should wait on buying food for ourselves, we should really consider those who might have a difficult time even getting to the grocery store on a regular basis. So we want to encourage our community to help their elderly, others who might be infirmed or, or might need assistance in, in getting around. Absolutely. You know, as we speak, we're trying to figure out how to ensure that we're providing for that elderly uh, community that usually is in our community centers and so they're closed so we're not only trying to get food to them to their homes we're trying to ensure that they have what they need and so we ask their family members to reach out to their family their extended family and make sure that those elderly are taken care of uh, but like you said you know they've got to have an opportunity to go to those stores and pick up what they need so, of course, with that food supply being plentiful, we want to remind everyone there's other uh, food options throughout McAllen, which is so great about living in this, uh, this community. Yes. So, although restaurants are closed for dining, uh, we urge our citizens to take advantage of the fact that many, many restaurants are attempting to do everything that they can to continue to provide their, their service, their food, their specialties around McAllen through pickup or delivery. And so um, get yourself some information about your favorite restaurants. I did that at noon. So, uh, you know, I went by, picked it up, went back to the office. So get familiar with them and, uh, and help them. And that way you help the, the, the restaurant stay in business and, and helps you yourself to a great meal. Yes, and then that way you don't have to cook or clean, right? <laughs> well, you know, I do a lot of cooking at home. <laughs> but we do want to encourage everyone to, to support our local businesses, especially all the restaurants here in our community. Um, but what's And the reason why we've closed the in-dining and some of these businesses that have uh, large gatherings is because we need to limit that uh, mass gathering. Can, can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. So the last week and a half or so, you know, we have seen the recommendations from the CDC and the state of Texas on uh, ensuring a maximum of certain number of people. And uh, we started with a very large number, went down to 250 a few days back, and then we're down to 10. And so the order that was signed by Mayor Jim Darling and approved by the city commission, because the city commission gave him that authority, uh, as well as a declaration from the governor of Texas says that 10 is the maximum amount of people that can gather in any one place. And so that's the reason for the closings of uh, restaurants for dine-in and the bars. And there are also other specific businesses that may affect and others are not affected. And so they can head to uh, the City of McAllen website for that uh, specific order issued by Mayor Darling just a few days ago to find out. And of course, if they have any questions, they can contact at 311 or the City of McAllen for clarification. Sure, I, and, uh, and they can get to our webpage, like you said. Uh, it's very specific as to what the prohibitions are, and the businesses that are affected are uh, outlined by name. And so if, if it's not there, that means it doesn't affect them. Uh, the, the, of course, the, the big one is any uh, center that is used for mass gatherings, event centers and that type. Obviously, all of them 
are affected. But again, there, if, if it's not listed, that means it's not impacted. Is there any message you'd like to give to uh, our public who's watching right now about uh, as we continue to move forward with this um, response? Well, like we've said, you know, we're going to continue to give the information that is relevant, uh, try to keep it very concise and precise, uh, and see if we can't get this uh, or get through this uh, as quickly as possible. We will continue to put out information to the extent that we can when it's available. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, for being here. Thank you all for watching on 1300. Uh, again, continue to watch uh, MCN channel 1300 on Spectrum Cable. Follow us on social media. Visit the City of McAllen website for the most accurate and up-to-date information regarding the City of McAllen and our response to the pandemic crisis. Uh, for the City of McAllen, I'm Sochil Mora. Thank you. Our team. Stories that count from people who care.